I am here to show you how to clean your iPod Nano. A lot of people have seen a lot of videos on YouTube how to clean your iPod Touch. But I've never seen one to clean your iPod Nano. I've seen a couple but not many. So I'm going to show you how to clean an iPod Nano. I do have an iPod Touch but um, I thought I would show you how to do an iPod Nano. So how you do an iPod Nano is first you take a piece of um, paper towel and you take a piece of tissue. You take the piece of tissue and you flip it out. You fold it in half and you put it towards you. Just like that. Then you take your upper nano and you set it down. Upper nanos do not get that much scratches but they get a lot of scuffs. So I'm going to show you how to fix that. Alright. This is an iPod Nano 5th generation. Um, it's a purple one. And here we go. So all you're really going to need is some glass cleaner. And a little bit of Oxy Orange. Or any bathroom sort of type clean cleaner. Now you take a piece of of tissue and you fold it in half. Okay. And you put it right over your iPod Nano. This also does work for an iPod Touch, by the way. So you can see your iPad Nano right in there. Then you take your Oxy cleaner, cleanser and you spray a couple of sprays on there. And you kind of just touch it and you lift your second one up. You do not want a lot of Oxy cleaner on your iPod Touch. Then you take a clean one. You let that dry for a second. Take a clean one that's not really wet. Not wet at all actually. And then you're going to put it over your iPod and then do nice little streaks of this. Just like that. And then you just go back and forth. Little bits second motion get your iPod touch a logo to be clean just like that and as you can already see it's getting really nice and shiny but now what you're going to do is you're going to take another one and this one you are actually going to spray like this. Gonna put it in a little item like this one. And go one, two. Just two. It's fine. Just like that. And then you kind of pat it down with your hand so it's not very, very wet. And you just run it by the item. Try to avoid the camera much as you can and you take your dry after it dries you can see it's starting to dry after that you are going to take your dry tissue and you're going to actually flip it over because the dry tissue does have some oxy it's not quite well if you do put um two chemicals together. And you're just going to run it down. As you can see it's looking very shiny. These are just normal tissues. Not very um, special tissues at all. Normal. 
Now, as you can see, that is shinier than it has ever been. I like that. You see it? Very, very, very shiny. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to flip it over. You're also going to flip your paper towel over. And this is where we're going to clean the screen item. Okay? So, you take your same exact paper towel and you do not add any more glass cleaner to it at all. You just take it down and you run it by it just a little bit. Maybe a few times, ten times. Run it by the sides. And lay it down and let it dry. If you do not let it dry, you when you wipe, when you try to wipe it off, it will leave these streaked lines. You do not want that to happen. So just a quick review, glass cleaner, you can have Windex or glass cleaner, doesn't really matter what kind of brand you have, OxyClean, uh, you can get any uh, OxyClean, actually sorry it's actually Oxygen Orange um, All Purpose Cleaner get an all-purpose cleaner or any bathroom type subject it's got some pictures on it so now what you're going to do is now that it is dry you're going to take your what uh, your dry paper towel and then just dry it off and take your sides and dry your sides off And now you can see your screen is as shiny as ever. So is your back still. Try not to touch it so much. Now next is your little, I like to call this a wheel. I'm going to take care of the wheel. Now for the wheel, you're going to take one, actually sorry, this one. But you're going to fold it a little bit more so it's a little bit smaller. Put your finger right underneath it and fold it over. Hold it just like that so you got a little bit right there. And you just kind of clean it really lightly. If you get too much, you can seek into the item and it will never work again. Don't, let it be under. Don't do too much under this little item. Now let it try. It only takes a few seconds to dry. You want you can kind of do a little bit of wave on it. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take your paper towel again. And you're going to wipe it off. Very cleansingly. So now your iPod touch. I'm sorry, an iPod Nano is nice and refurbished. Doesn't have any scuffs or any scratches. And your front is nice and beautiful. When you're holding your iPod Nano, it's probably best to hold it to the top and the bottom like this. Or from the sides very lightly like this do not touch the back with it um, when you're playing with it you know you can really do however you want but uh, um, still works that's how you clean your iPod Nano thanks for watching guys um, I've had a great time Thank you very much. Bye-bye.